In this mobile iron demo, we're going to be reviewing Android Enterprise work managed devices. So what this is going to include is the accounts on the device, applications, configuring those applications, lockdowns and restrictions on the device, as well as a kiosk mode. So now getting into what is a work managed device. Well, a work managed device is usually a company owned device that has been purchased by a company on behalf of an employee. Uh, the device can also be something that's meant to be a terminal device, something that you're just setting up as a kiosk. So the entire device itself is managed by the enterprise, as opposed to in a BYOD situation where only the work profile is managed. So these devices, as I just mentioned, also support kiosk mode, also known as a corporate owned single use device. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the device demo now, and we'll go over some of the different features, what having a work managed device or device owner mode really means for this device, uh, some of the lockdowns, and then we'll also go into a little bit about kiosk mode as well. So we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look at this device, just show that it's a work managed device. So one of the easy ways to do this is if you actually go into the Play Store. So you can see, when I go into the Play Store, I have all my different work applications that are available to me. Um, some of these can be forced installed yeah, and pushes them down. They're also available for the end user to manually download if you're giving them a little bit more freedom of what applications they're allowed to have. Maybe you're not being overly strict on the different restrictions that are on the device. Uh, but you can also see I have my work account here. I can jump into my work apps. Uh, but one thing you'll, that you'll notice with this device is even though it's a work managed device, you can still allow your users to add their own personal accounts to it. It just depends on how restrictive you want to be. So if I click on this drop down here, I can see I also have my personal email um, Google account on this device. If I open it up, I now have access to the normal Play Store. I could download applications if I wanted to. Now this is entirely up to the admin. Uh, you can do it on a per device basis. So maybe there's going to be a certain groups of devices that you're allowing a bit more freedom. They can add on their own applications. And then there's going to be another group of devices where they're completely locked down. They're not allowed to add different accounts onto it. So that is some freedom that you can give your users or not. One other thing you'll notice with this work managed device, unlike with the uh, work profile that can be put onto a personal device, there is no badging of the different applications. Now this is because all of the different applications are considered work owned, even if they're downloaded from a personal account if you're allowing the users to do that. So you have the ability to remove all these apps off this device. If you do a retire command or a wipe command from your mobile iron admin console, it's actually going to just completely factory reset this device and take all the data with it. So we're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about applications now and how you can enable your end users. So Android Enterprise has a couple really big benefits with applications. One of the biggest benefits is you can silently install Play Store applications. So in the past, what your end users would have to do is manually download these applications or IT would have to pre-install them for them. And this would be a really time consuming process as you would have to do a step-by-step -step wait for each one. Now you can just push them down. The other benefit is you can actually pre-configure these applications as well. If the developer has supported it, has created a configuration template for you, you can actually just configure it in the admin portal and then that configuration will push down with the app when it's installed. So for example, we have a email plus on this device. If I go into my mail app, launch it, all my email's already there. That's because as an admin, I can pre-configure the server name, username, email address, how many days of mail to sync down. And you can even do things like SERP based off. So the user just launches the app and then it uses that certificate for authentication instead of the user having to put in their password. Another example, is the Chrome application. So if I go into Chrome and I go to my bookmarks, I can actually see that I already have some bookmarks pushed down. So really useful for your end users. So I can also do something like a whitelist or blacklist or specify a certain proxy that the user has to go through. There's actually a lot of configurations you can do with the Chrome application. So we'll take a look at the whitelist here. And this site is blocked. So I'm actually choosing what sites my users are allowed to go to. It makes it really easy if you do a combination of the bookmark sites that they can go to and then a whitelist or a blacklist of the sites they're not allowed to.
So now that we have an idea of how you can enable your users with applications, push them down, uh, pre-configure those applications, we're going to go ahead and jump into the security aspect of it. So there are a no large number of restrictions that you can do. Now, mainly this is because this is considered a corporate-owned device. With a normal BYOD device, you'd have a limited number of the restrictions. So we'll take a look at some of the examples on the device side, and then we'll also take a look at the actual configuration side in the admin portal. So if I go into settings, one of the main use cases you'll have is you don't want your end users being able to factory reset their device. So if I go down to reset my device, you'll notice that I don't have that option in here. It's basically been disabled on the admin side of things, so the user can't go into the UI and factory reset their device and remove everything off of it. Now there are some other restrictions that you can do, and what we're going to go ahead and do is jump over to the admin console. So over in the admin console, we're now on our work managed devices, also known as device owner mode configuration. So as you can see here, there's a lot of different restrictions that I can do in lockdowns. So I can do things like disable Wi-Fi, disable cellular, maybe I want them to only be on Wi-Fi. I can turn off the camera or Bluetooth, turn off screen capture, disallow changing credentials. So you have a lot of different restrictions that you can do in here, and it's because it's considered a corporate owned device. Now, one other thing that I'd also like to talk about is enabling kiosk mode. So since we're over here already, we'll go ahead and talk a little bit about it, and then we'll see it on the device side. So with kiosk mode, you basically can restrict the different applications the user is even able to see on the device. So this is a really good use case if you have any devices that might be a single use, or you have only one or two applications that the users might need to use, or you just don't want them having access to things like the camera, dialer, so I can go ahead, enable that kiosk mode, choose what they have access to, Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth settings. I don't want them going into location settings, things like that. And then what applications they have access to. So any of the apps I've added to my app catalog, I can go ahead and add into the portal here. And then maybe I have a system level application I want them to also have access to. I can put in the um, package ID for that application and have it show up here. Now, there's also going to be some cases where you might want that application to be available in the kiosk, but not visible to the user. Maybe another application leverages it. So you can actually hide the applications and make them not visible to the end user for launch. So at this point, what we'll do is we'll jump back over to the device demo and we'll take a look at kiosk mode. So now that we're back to the device, we'll take a look at that kiosk mode. So we'll launch the mobile and go app. And you'll see that I have a kiosk option in here. Now the admin can actually launch and exit the kiosk mode from the admin portal. You don't have to do it on the device side, but it is an option there. So we'll go ahead and launch kiosk mode. And you'll go ahead and see there's only a limited number of applications in here. So now this user can only use these apps. They're not able to get to any other app that might be on the device. And the nice thing is I can always update the kiosk configuration so that new applications show up in here if there's some new applications that I need. Now, the other big benefit, um, and this comes with Android Enterprises, if I'm in this kiosk mode, I can silently install Play Store applications into the kiosk mode. Beforehand, what you would need to do is exit kiosk mode and then prompt the user to install them. They download them, and it'd just be a really big pain, and then you have to kick it back into kiosk mode. We'll take a look at some of the settings that the users have access to. So they can force a sync. And as you can see in the admin console, I only really gave them access to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And then they have some basic things like being able to change the display brightness or uh, change the screen rotation. And then there is also the option to exit the kiosk mode. Now, you can set as an admin what the exit pin is. This is really useful if for some reason a device ever loses connectivity and you need a way to get it out of that kiosk mode so that maybe you can reconnect it to Wi-Fi or troubleshoot it a little bit more deeply. The kiosk mode also can be customized. So you can see at the top, it has the mobile iron logo and the background's uh, kind of a basic wallpaper. You can actually customize both of these, change out the background, change out the logo to give it a customized feel. And just so you can see what this looks like, we've jumped over to the admin portal. You can see under the admin tab and under Android kiosk, I have my option to customize it so I can change out some of the banner colors, 
the logo and change the background as well. And the nice thing is it also gives me a preview of it too. Now, last thing that I want to show you here is there are a number of other configurations that we did not go over today in this demo. So some of the ones I want to point out is you can also pre-push down things like your Wi-Fi configuration, your VPN configuration, device certificates, a passcode requirement, and your privacy settings on that device as well. So I can say whether or not I'm pulling the full app catalog, pulling location, which you're most likely going to do on a corporate owned device. And then also just so you can see where the configuration is, if you go to Lockdown and Kiosk Android Enterprise, Work Manage Devices, this is where all your different uh, configurations and lockdowns are for Android Enterprise. If we scroll through this, we can see all the different configurations. So that's the end of our device demo and admin portal demo. I did want to go over and give you some ideas on how to enable device center mode. It does require that it be in a factory default state, but you have the option to do an NFC bump, a QR code, leveraging G Suite, a token, or Android Zero Touch as well. We also have some resources for you as well. So we have our Android Enterprise Support Matrix. What this does is it reviews the different features that are available in Android Enterprise and then what versions of Android are required. So you know what version of Android is required to enable device owner mode, as well as to enable the different configuration methods, such as NFC bump or uh, token method. Then we also have our Android Enterprise Center of Excellence. This reviews the configuration of Android Enterprise, the configuration of the different work profiles or device owner mode, as well as the different enrollment methods. So thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed this demo. And if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to your mobile iron account team and they'll be able to help you out.